Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kentaro Sasaki. The title of my presentation is Online Topic Model for Twitter Considering Dynamics of User Interests and Topic Trends. In the next slide, I'll talk about the background. Twitter is rapidly prevailing in the society in recent years. Users report real-life events or their interests with short messages called tweets. Uh, in Twitter, a huge amount of text streams every day. Uh, there are many researchers developing methods to find out useful information in Twitter. For example, event detection, user profiling, and topic tracking. Uh, topic models are popular and powerful tools used in these researches. There are many researchers applying topic models like latent allocation to Twitter. A topic model uh, is a model to infer hidden topic structure, and a topic represents a rough meaning like theme or notion. For example, uh, the most content of an economic press is the topic about economics and those in a sports journal is a topic about sports. Uh, these are the examples of the research sites adapting LGA to Twitter, uh, classification for Twitter users, and finding influential Twitter users. LGA is a topic model which assumes that each document is represented as a probability distribution over some topics uh, like this, and that each word has a latent topic. Uh, this, uh, is represent, uh, this represents a bag of words representation of a document. Uh, for example, a uh, movie has a topic <coughs> about the art. Uh, this is the generative process of documents and graphical representation of LDA. In LDA, first, topic distribution of each document phi and word distribution of each topic theta are drawn from directory distributions. And then, for each document, Topic Z is drawn from topic distribution of document D, and word W is drawn from word distribution of topic Z. These distributions, uh, theta and phi, can, uh, can be estimated using collapsed gave sampling. There are two methods to apply LGA to tweet correction. First one, Treats a single tweet as a document. But it does not work, work well because of the shortness of a tweet. Second one treats all tweets of a user as a single document. It works better than the above method. However, uh, in any case, LGA itself does not consider the shortness of a tweet. On the other hand, Twitter LDA, which considers the shortness of a tweet, has been proposed. Twitter LDA is a model based on LDA, which assumes that a single tweet consists of a single topic, proposed by Zhao. Uh, this is the graphical representation of Twitter LDA. In Twitter LDA, Phi represents interest of each user to each topic. Uh, generative process of tweets uh, following is following in Twitter GA. First, uh, topic K is assigned to a tweet, and then each of words in the tweet is drawn from background word distribution 
if y equals zero, or topic word distribution if y equals one. For example, uh, a, top, a topic about sports is assigned to such a tweet. Today I watch the sports game, and each each word in this tweet uh, is drawn from a background word distribution or a topic word distribution. And y is drawn from pi. In other words, the ratio between topic words and background words is determined by pi. Uh, in this slide, I'll talk about the problems of Twitter-LDA. In Twitter, a lot of tweets are generated every day. When a new data arrives, Twitter-LDA must infer with all data include including past data. So the calculation, calculation cost becomes too much. Uh, and the second problem is that it does not consider the dynamics of user interests and topic trends, although they change day, uh, from day to day. Uh, now let me explain the purpose and the approach of my study. The purpose is efficient modeling of tweet collection, which is generated every day. To achieve this purpose, uh, I propose a new topic model called Twitter TTM, uh, which satisfies following three requirements, uh, capability of online learning, and the consideration of the shortness of a tweet, and the dynamics of user interest and topic trends. To construct the proposed model, first, I introduced the assumption that the ratio between topic words and background words differs from user to user. And then, uh, I extend the improved model based on topic tracking model. First, uh, I talk about the improvement of Twitter LDA. Uh, in Twitter LDA, the ratio between topic words and background words is considered to be common with all users. This is probably incorrect. Uh, it differs from user to user. So I construct an improvement model which assumes that the ratio between topic words and background words differ, differs from user to user. It could model the generation of tweets more efficiently. I carried out an experiment to compare the performances of LDA, Twitter LDA, and the improved model based on the perplexity. The perplexity is commonly used to evaluate topic models uh, calculated by this formula. It evaluates the predictive performance of a model to a test data. A lower perplexity score indicates a better predictive performance. Uh, that uh, the data uh, used in this experiment is following. And experimental conditions are following. Uh, the hyperparameters were optimized by maximizing likelihood using fixed point iterations and the perplexity was evaluated for each model in each number of topics via a, a tenfold cross-validation. This is the result of the experiment. And this table shows the perplexity of each model in 10 rounds. Uh, as you can see, the improved model performs better than the uh, other models for any number of topics. This result shows that the new assumption of the improved model that the rate between background and topic words is different for each user could be more appropriate. LDA, uh, perf LDA performance wasn't with the increased number of topics uh, because the aggregate, 
aggregated tweets of a single user neglect the topic of each tweet. And then uh, I talk about the proposed model Twitter TTM. Uh, Twitter TTM is constructed by extending the improved model based on topic tracking model TTM, which models users' purchasing behavior in online stores, uh, proposed by uh, Iwata. And TTM is an extension of LDA considering dynamics. In TTM, uh, user interest and topic trends at the current time depend on the previous ones. Uh, alpha uh, represents the persistency of user interest and beta represents the persistency of topic trends. Uh, to combine uh, the RDA and uh, uh, Sorry, uh, to combine the improved model and TTM, Twitter uh, TTM uh, can be con constructed. This is the graphical representation of Twitter TTM. Twitter TTM can uh, efficiently moderate, model the tweets considering, considering the shortness, and it considers the dynamics of user interest and topic trends it also has a capability of online inference. The parameters in the proposed model are estimated by stochastic EM algorithm. Each step is to estimate latent values Y and Z by collapsed given sampling. And M step is to estimate parameters by maximum joint likelihood using fixed point iterations. After the iterations, the means of user interest and topic trend are uh, obtained as follows. These estimates are used to estimate interest and trends at the next time. Uh, topic models for Twitter have been proposed. Time user LDA has been proposed, which considers both the temporal information of tweets and users' personal interest. It can find busty topics from Twitter, uh, but it does not consider the dynamics of topic trends, and it does not have the capability of online inference. Uh, by term topic model assumes that the word pair is independently drawn from a specific topic. It can effectively capture the topics within short takes such as tweets, uh, but it cannot estimate interest of each user, and it does not consider the dynamics of topic trends either, and not have the capability of online inference. Now, TMLDA can efficiently model online uh, the topics and topic transition that naturally arise in a tweet stream, uh, but it does not consider the dynamics of topic trends, and it does not consider the shortness of a tweet because it is based on LDA. Uh, a topic, uh, in this research, a topic model implementing a dynamic vocabulary based on online LDA has been proposed. Uh, it also uh, does not consider the shortness of a tweet, and it cannot estimate the persistence of user interest and topic trends. I carried out an experiment to compare the performances of LDA, TTM, the improved model, uh, Twitter LDA plus TTM, and the proposed model, Twitter TTM, based on the perplexity. Twitter LDA plus TTM is a combination of Twitter LDA and TTM. Uh, Twitter data used in this experiment is following. And experimental conditions are following. The perplexity of each model at time t 
is calculated using next time suites. Uh, this is the result of the experiment. This graph shows the perplexity of each model for each time. Uh, as you can see, Twitter TTM shows lower perplexity compared with conventional models LDA, Twitter LDA, and TTM at any time, which implies that Twitter TTM can appropriately model the dynamics of user interests and topic trends in Twitter. Twitter TTM also outperforms the, the improved model for each time because the improved model does not consider the dynamics. In addition, Twitter TTM also shows lower perplexity than Twitter LDA plus TTM for each time uh, because Twitter TTM's assumption that the rate between background and topic was is different for each user is more appropriate. Uh, this is the example of trend analysis by Twitter TTM. Uh, this graph shows the trend persistence parameter beta of each topic, uh, birthday, birthday topic and football topic at each time. Uh, the persistence parameters of the topic about football are lower than those of birthday because it is strongly affected by trends in the real world. Uh, in fact, the top words in football change more dynamically than those of birthday. For example, uh, in the last day, uh, Madrid becomes more popular than Arsenal in football topic. On the other hand, in the birthday topic, uh, the top words is fixed uh, every day. Uh, let me conclude my presentation. I propose the improved model based on Twitter LDA, which assumes that the ratio between background words and topic words differs for each user. And I propose the topic model for Twitter by combining the improved model and TTM, which was capable of online uh, inferring the dynamics of user interest and topic trends online. My future work is to extend the proposed method to capture the past and death of topics along, along the timeline with a variable number of topics. Thank you for kind of your attention. Any questions for Kentaro? So, so I have a question. I mean, so you, um, so the method is called Twitter TTM, right? But ultimately, of course, the the only thing from Twitter you seem to be using is that it's short text, right? So, so the other thing that is, of of course, very present is the social network uh, structure, right? So, I mean, just like when I talk about a different topic, I also interact with different people at the same time, right? So maybe now I might be tweeting something about the, the conference and I get some interaction from other conference, uh, conference participants and then next week I, you know, tweet about sports and then there are other people involved, right? Sort of, so there's also like a change in the, um, in the social network structure that goes along. So have you given any thought of how to sort of combine the, the social network aspect with the, uh, with the sort of evolution of, uh, of topics? Uh. You mean uh, the consideration of social networks? Uh. Um, yes, the, 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 con the, the sort of the, I mean, so, I mean, you know, you use Twitter as a data set, but so far, I mean, you, you're just using individual messages, right? But of course, this, this message come from a person that has social connections, right? I mean, both follow following, but also mentioning or retweeting, or there could be a number of, um, you know, types of social, connections and they could of course help you to improve both the topic modeling because the things that I talk about are similar to what my friends talk about 
and also the dynamics, right? So as, as my link structure changes, my topics will change as well. So, so do you have some ideas of how, how this could be incorporated in your model? Uh, so uh, not only tweets, but also uh, network structure. Uh, so it is better to uh, both uh, message and, and social net structure uh, jointly uh, running. Uh, but in, in this work, I focus on only messages. So uh, my future work is also to consider the post message and messages and social networks. More questions from the from the audience? Um, I have I have one, one one more question. So when it comes to sort of topic um, transitions, right? So there there might also be pattern um, in those, right? Like if you think of a lifetime or even even shorter. So for example, maybe many of us here tweeted about traveling a couple of days ago. Now we tweet about conference and talks and papers, and then maybe again we tweet about traveling tomorrow or the day after. So there's you know there's kind of like a I mean, the, the, again, you could maybe maybe you could leverage the social network structure sort of also to to learn these general these generalized transitions, right? So, given that you tweet about conference today, probably you tweet about traveling tomorrow or the day after, or sort of so. Have you? Does this make sense? Have you given some thought to such things, sort of so learning these transitions? Or if you tweet about this match, you know, today, then you will tweet about a, another match in the future. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't understand. Um, no, I'm just saying the um, the I mean the user the user's interest can evolve, right? I mean they can change from one topic to another topic, for example, right? But these changes are not are not random, right? I mean of sort of I mean if I talk about football today, next year maybe I talk about baseball or something or so, right? I mean, it's, it's less likely that I will transition to rocket science or so, right? I could, but, you know, this sort of transition is, is less likely, right? And so, so this gives you some, I mean, potentially additional knowledge to improve the, I mean, the fit or sort of to learn likely transitions or so. So have, have, you, have you looked into methods to do this? Uh, you mean the current time topic? Uh, it's not only depend on the previous time tweet. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry, no. It's, 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 a good, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, it could. It could I mean, it, it, it. Yeah. So, so, so. I mean, so, some transitions are just based on you, but some are also like global transitions, right? So maybe everybody globally next week will tweet about midterm elections in the U.S., right? Sort of, so on. Some are just you. Um, uh, individually, and sort of, and some are just you and other individuals around you, even maybe in the social network, right? So there are many. I mean, there, there, are, there's more information that could potentially be exploited to sort of, you know, understand the the topic position or even predict the next uh, topic to to come up. Okay, it's more of a comment. Okay, sorry. Okay, no other question. Okay, thanks for the talk. Thank you.